Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Kishore Pochiraju, uh, and uh, to uh, you guys on the web, uh, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, good morning. Uh, I'm here to introduce to you uh, the uh, startup business called uh, CADIS. Uh, CADIS uh, specializes in uh, 3D mobile mapping and uh, model generation. Uh, the uh, 3D mapping business for infrastructure and uh, uh, construction and architecture businesses and uh, geographical information systems business is about three billion dollars in revenue today. There are about six uh, top companies and what's happening in the last year, year and a half is that uh, I'm sure you have watched a, a movie or two in three dimensions and uh, the, uh, a lot of TV set makers are bringing uh, 3D TV sets into the market. So the market is about to grow dramatically uh, and we think that uh, there are several new businesses uh, into which 3D is going to permeate, uh, per particularly into real estate, into architecture, into, uh, into visualization over the web and broadcast media, as well as uh, 3D game consoles. Uh, several uh, 3D game manufacturers today are looking at uh, making the games truly 3D for the 3D uh, sets. Uh, Blu-ray is uh, adopting a 3D uh, format and uh, there's a lot of content, there's a lot of need for providing 3D content. To this end, what uh, uh, CADA's strategy is to, uh, is to bring high definition, three-dimensional measurement and mapping and uh, consequence, convert that maps in, convert those uh, scanned maps into content that people can use like engineering drawings or walkthroughs and uh, uh, and label the uh, value-added uh, labeled uh, uh, presentations that people can use. So CADA is, uh, uh, is uh, looking at uh, both products and services in this market. Uh, and what we are looking at is a multi-model mobile scanner, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. And uh, using the uh, three-dimensional information for positioning also, there's a large market in positioning uh, assets in a uh, in a precise manner. So we're looking at products in this uh, field as well as services. The services are converting these large 3D data sets into usable form. That is a computer-aided design model or a, a presentation that people can use to walk through. And uh, there are several other opportunities in asset labeling and location tracking based on the uh, high-definition 3D model. Uh, the business strategy that we are adopting is uh, slightly different from all the competitors. Uh, what we are looking at is uh, a franchise model. Uh, the CADIs will focus on essentially looking at uh, uh, data warehousing, the large data sets people collect, uh, looking at engineering services, looking at uh, research and development. While a franchisee would uh, go out and do the actual scanning and uh, generate the data in, in the field. Uh, the average revenue for one day of work for these uh, products would be about eight thousand. Is estimated to be about eight thousand dollars. If somebody goes out and scans for one day, he generates enough da data that uh, uh, that that the customer can be billed about eight thousand dollars. Now, our model includes uh, uh, the products to be given to the franchisee uh, for use with a franchise fee. So what you have here is a $75,000 franchise fee that we collect and he has access to all the scanning products, the software necessary and the mobility products. And we have a per job revenue streams that come back so that we can convert the scan data into engineering drawings or we, we, we add some value to it like labeling the data and, and processing it into, 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 visual, into, into visualization products for us for the customer. So the end customer will get the process data back from CADIS and given back to the client for the franchising. Uh, in, this, uh, in this field, the, uh, the scanners are about, the three-dimensional scanners that are present today are about uh, eight, to, eight to nine years old and they all uh, are based on laser ranging uh, or, or photogrammetry, either one of the two. Uh, one of our uh, technological advantages is that our scanner combines the two. We use a lower grade, more affordable laser ranger with a high grade imaging technology to produce uh, highly accurate dimensional, dimensional information. So we are now combining both uh, optical imagery, imagery with uh, laser sampling of point data and combine the two together. 
We also have uh, software techniques for registering the maps, that is, if this scan is generated at one point, the other, uh, the, the scans generated from different points are registered using a, a, a software technique. So what that does is that you don't need to have a very precise location sensor. You don't need to know where you are scanning from. So you do, you can scan areas where there is no GPS, and when you are in the tunnels, where underground, there is a lot of areas that this technology opens up. We also break the affordability barrier. Uh, this particular product is. Uh, can come to market about half the price of what uh, the commercial techniques are today. We think that uh, combined with the portability, the mobility, and the affordability, uh, it makes uh, scanning very, very large areas highly productive. People can go out and come back with about 10 to 100 acres of uh, area scanned in a, in a single day. Uh, we envisage the scanner to go on uh, two types of products uh, uh, on, a, on a personal mobility device like a Segway, where you can, you can do places like what we are in today, uh, or outdoors could be on a, on a utility vehicle such as this one. Now, unfortunately, none of my videos are working. Uh, and uh, what, uh, what in this game, what the, the company or the products must provide is highly dimensionally accurate data. So people use this to route pipelines and use this to dig trenches and the data must be dimensionally accurate. So we provide that, we have sub-centimeter and sub-millimeter accuracy with our system. We also map the texture, what we actually see uh, from the cameras in real time on the point clouds. So if you, if you look at some of this data, you know where the green grass is, where the pavements are, where the markings are in this particular system. We uh, also can map indoors uh, because we are not uh, dependent on the position of the machine so much. We don't need to have very highly accurate positioning information. We can drive this in, a, in an indoor setting and we can, come, we can create uh, indoor uh, maps. So you can locate furniture, you can, you can rearrange how a, a office space must be structured. You can, you can plan all that in the, in the, in the system. The, uh, the, the data is on two forms. There is a very, uh, it's a 360 panoramic view, and also there is a, there's a three-dimensional point cloud. So every pixel you say, you see there has X, Y, Z coordinates. It has the image it sees on the, uh, it has the texture of that particular point. Uh, in terms of its use, uh, the mobile scanner will go into an area like this. This is a, 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 an area in, uh, uh, on the 9th Street in Stevens campus where they're building a solar uh, home and we just did a scan for in about an hour's time we generated about 19 different scan sets that are put together in real time so the architect or the designer who is looking at this has the terrain, has the foliage, has the surrounding buildings and has the sunlight information, there's a lot of there's a lot of information that's given here. So the robot actually moves through these parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This path plan is given to the person who is moving the robot to show where the vantage points are. So every, every spot is, uh, uh, every spot gets the laser exposure as well as imaging exposure. We think that together with our technology and the business model, we have a win-win situation. We, we explore different markets through the franchisee's eyes. The franchisees are going to be local. They are familiar with the municipalities. They are familiar with the, uh, the, the, uh, the local markets. The setup costs are low. And uh, we, it takes some marketing edge out of our, our company and Canada's benefits from both the services as well as the product uh, revenue streams. We see that the company is going to grow to about a $50 million business in five years with about 150 franchise, uh, franchisees. Each franchisee, if he works for about 100 days a, a year, we expect that we, uh, we, can, uh, we can make about $375,000 revenue from the franchisee. So there are five reasons to invest. Uh, we have uh, the technology is disruptive. We have strong intellectual property portfolio. The, uh, the technology is already proven out in military setting and we have a prototype. The prototype is actually going to be outside at about 11.30. You can touch and feel it to see how this, is, how this works. And thank you for your time and I'm happy to answer any questions.